Good morning to you on this Friday morning. The Word of God I have for you today is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. In all things, give thanks to God. Be thankful to God for all things and in all things. There's an old saying that says the grass is greener on the other side. And I don't agree with that. I think there's a much better saying that I once heard, and that is that the grass is greener where you water it. And there's a lot of truth in that statement. And the way we water the grass where we are is by being thankful. In all things, giving thanks. You see, when we start looking over the fence and we start thinking that the grass is greener somewhere else, we run into trouble. Because then we are no longer satisfied with what we have and we become ungrateful, and then we dishonor God. Because really, if we are not giving thanks to God in all things, then we are really saying that in some things He has made a mistake, or He's doing something wrong, if we believe that He is absolutely sovereign. And the Bible says that He is absolutely sovereign. So we must learn to give thanks to Him in all things, to be thankful for all things, to stop looking around, but to look where we are, water the grass where you are, and it will be greener. It's a very important thing to do. In Psalm 139, David writes, I thank you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. What a great way to start the day. To look in the mirror as you brush your teeth and to say to God, I thank you that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I thank you that your plan and your will for my life is perfect. It's good. Help me to follow it. Help me to trust in you, to surrender all to you, to be thankful, Lord, for all things and in all things. And then you will find that the grass around you will be greener because you have watered it with the great water of thanksgiving. I pray that you take this principle and you apply it to your life and you will find that you will be blessed. May God help you. Let us now join together in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day. We thank you, Lord, for everything. We thank you that you are sovereign. We thank you that nothing happens to us without your knowledge. We thank you that you are above all things. We thank you that we know that the day will come when by your grace and mercy, we shall enter the kingdom of heaven. And as we walk through those gates, our understanding will be complete and we will be able to look back and say, yes, you did all things well. And we will acknowledge that. But Lord, help us to acknowledge that right now. Help us right now to be grateful for everything that you have given us. Help us to water the grass right where we are, to see what you have placed before us, what tremendous gifts you have given to us. We bless you, we praise you, we worship you. We thank you that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, the greater all of your works, Lord. So we commit all to you again today. And Lord, as the sun is now shining, we pray, Lord, that your light would shine upon us, that you would, Lord, just strengthen us, that you would just so fill us with your love, that we would be overflowing today, wherever we go, whoever we meet, Lord, that we would just be agents of your love, Lord, that we would just show them that you are the way, the truth, the life, that you love them, that you love all people. So we commit all to you today, Lord. We pray once again for your mercy, we pray for your healing hand upon the sick and the dying. Lord, we pray your comforting hand for those who mourn. There are many, many who are in dire need at this time, Lord. You are able to supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory. Help us to be generous as well. Help us, Lord, to, to give what you have given to us, to share. Lord, we just commit all to you. We pray, Lord, for an end to this coronavirus. We pray for a breakthrough and the vaccine. We pray, Lord, that you would just have mercy upon us. Lord, we commit all to you and we join together now in praying. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray that you have a blessed day, a wonderful day. Remember the grass will be greener where you water it and the water is thanksgiving. God bless you.